Hi everyone, I'm Mike and this is the Sunday Art Show. This week we're back down at Fistral Beach in Cornwall. So if you've been watching the channel for a while you'll know that I was down here last summer a couple of times enjoying the amazing weather but as you can see today it's not only cloudy but there aren't really any waves either so as well as doing some art I was hoping to do a little bit of uh, bodyboarding and I did do a little bit, I caught about a dozen waves, but it was pretty cold and, and the waves weren't very big or powerful. Uh, anyway, so doing some sketching here with my Sharpie marker and the white lifeguard truck there parked on the sand with the surfboards on top, that caught my eye first of all. So this is my first sketch of the day and you can see I've just put in some line work and got a couple of surfboards uh, strapped on top of the van there, so that makes for some interesting outlines and just adding in a little bit of shade. I'm using a blue sharpie. So there's that first sketch of the day and that was okay. I put in a horizon line and one of the flags but I kind of felt as a composition to sum up the scene. It wasn't really appropriate because the the truck was far too big in the frame. So I'm just working quite small today because of the windy conditions. Just A4 mixed media paper as usual. But the, uh, if you look straight ahead to the left of the van, you can see there's a couple setting up a tent behind a couple of windbreaks. So I thought I would include them in the, in the next picture. And then on the right hand side, you can see I've got the lifeguard truck again. But this time it's a, a little bit smaller because it's off into the distance. And then I've added in the seascape and the cliffs on the right. And also a couple of figures on the shoreline off in the distance to add a bit of depth. And then I noticed these two surfers walking along to the left carrying their boards. And although they don't know it, I'm actually sketching the guy at the back there, the, the guy in the black wetsuit. So you can see I've popped him in walking along in the bottom right hand corner of my sketch. And having put the line work in, obviously the thing with the Sharpie marker is it's a permanent marker. So those lines aren't going to go anywhere, which is good. So I can spray the paper with water once I get the spray bottle working. And uh, I've put on some of my Inktense pencils, a little bit of purple going across the horizon line there. So the, the, the drawing's a little bit distant in frame at the moment, but I do get in a bit closer in just a couple of minutes. Next up I add some blue, and the great thing with Inktense pencils is that you can obviously apply them as pencils. But once you run water over them, they turn into a vibrant wash of colour. And then once dry, that layer of colour is waterproof, so it makes for it's a really good you know material to use when you're outdoors. Really, it's and, and they're very lightweight to carry, of course, as well. The only slight problem I have with them is my set only has 12 colours, so it does limit you a little bit. But but you know on the whole it works quite well. So having some having added some colour to the sea, I'm using rather more circular brush strokes now to pop in some of the clouds and the, you can see the overcast sky there when I look up. So we're starting to just block in some colours and bring this this line sketch to life. Now I added some, I think it was charcoal grey um, here, and for some reason that particular colour uh, didn't move around as much under the wet brush as the blues and the purples. I'm not quite sure why that is, so I need to experiment with that a little bit more. So in a similar way I add a couple of washes of colour while picking up a bit of sand onto the wet paper, as you can see there. Hence I, I put a big old pebble down on the right hand side of the sketch to stop the, the wind catching the paper again. Um, and having removed the sand you can see I've put in some light washes of colour for the distant cliffs but the, the red and yellow flag I'm just filling those in with the pencil and then I'm not going to dilute that with water at all so I get a much more opaque and rather bolder patch of colour there. So that, you know they're really adaptable in that way these intense pencils because you know you can do washes of colour as I am now with the blue put on quite a heavy load of blue and then I'm just using the wet brush to spread that across uh, in behind the truck and come out the other side. But equally the flag, I mean the flag isn't actually there parked at the rear of the truck, I just put it there because I kind of, there are those flags on the beach but I thought it would sit quite well there in terms of the composition. But by combining the brushwork with the pencil work you get you know a nice combination of textures, some nice contrasts going on so that's really good fun. Now for the sand that I put down here I used a little bit of red, a little bit of a kind of browny orange and some yellow and then used the wet brush to kind of wash those together as you can see. And then the the windbreaker that the couple, the main couple on the left are standing behind. Uh, what I'll do in just a moment is I'll put in some coloured stripes on those 
Uh, again, just using the pencil tip without using the wash of the brush, which you can see I'm, I'm starting to do now. So fill those in just, you know, again, this is a loose sketch done from life, working fairly quickly. So I'm not, you know, overly concerned with detail or high precision. Just want to get a feeling and a sense of the day. Now I'm coming with the, uh, a dark grey here, I think, for the, the wetsuit of the chap and also the logo on his board. And notice I've put a patch of yellow sand around the board. And the reason is I want that white board to stand out a little bit. So although I'm leaving the paper blank, that strong burst of yellow really helps to make that surfboard pop against the background of the sand. So a quick spray with the water bottle onto the, the brush bristles. And once again, I can, you know, really bring that patch of colour to life and just soften some of the marks I made on that foreground figure. And while that pigment is still on the brush, I can use what's left to just put in a couple of patches of texture and a little burst of shadow on the cliff and the windbreak, respectively. So you can see quite quickly, I mean, I have done a few edits here, but the entire sketch probably only took me about 15 minutes or so. So it's a really nice way to work. Now I've gone back to the Sharpie here and I'm just penciling in or drawing in, I should say, RNLI. Now you can hear the guy on the loudspeaker. He's warning people to stay within their depth because there are very strong winds today. So um, he's basically saying... So as you just heard me telling my wife, she hadn't heard the announcement clearly. They were just saying... Stay within your depth and don't go out too far, you know, to floating on your board because the strong winds will, will carry you out to sea. So there's a quick look at the finished sketch or the finished painting, I should say, or the, I guess it's a bit of both. Now, this little observation hut here is actually up on top of the distant cliff. So there's the beach, the stretch of sand that I was on a moment ago. And if, again, if you were watching last summer, I did some paintings just giving you a quick panorama view of the rest of the area here. But I did some paintings of that white hut that I just showed you um, up on top of the cliff. So I'll pop those up on screen in just a second. So much brighter day and much fuller with colour than it is now. You see it really is quite stormy and, and grey. But there's the first one. You can just about make out the, uh, the white hut on top of the cliff there, on top of the hill. And there's another one. So it was a very different day and these were done with acrylic and ink tents. But back to this little ship that you saw in the, the footage earlier. I think I may end up doing a painting of that. Um, Here's a quick colour experiment I did when I was back on the beach. I'm not all that happy with that one, but you know, it was, it was okay. It's good to experiment with the neon markers and, and different things once in a while. This one though, again, it's okay, but it led to a better sketch. This is obviously a surfer carrying her board out through the waves. Um, just a quick sketch with a brown Sharpie marker. I just thought it'd be fun to kind of alternate between the sketches and some of the views here. So this is how I kind of work sometimes. I'm kind of panning around with the camera, you know, looking to see what would look good for paintings. And I love the colour of the heather and the, the flowers on the cliff top here and the yellow on the rocks there, uh, contrasting with the bluey turquoises of the water. So I hope at some point to do uh, some seascapes based on some of the views you're seeing now. Um, and then here's probably my favourite sketch of the day. I thought this summed up the conditions perfectly. The, the lonely surfer standing in the shallows, waiting for some waves to come in, but being rather disappointed. Um, so I quite like that one. That was just done with a Sharpie uh, marker as well. Uh, so we're back on the cliff top again. And look at the wonderful colours in the flower here. You know, and I think what I've got here on screen at this moment, I think that would make a lovely painting, that, that little composition. But there's the main drawing of the day. Uh, full of colour and life, perhaps not quite an accurate depiction of the weather conditions, but nevertheless, you know, it'll be a nice memory for me. Um, so back on the cliffs again, you can look out towards Bedruthen over there off in the distance. And uh, there's the second sketch of the day. And as I said, I think this is probably my favourite. Um, I think I might call this one No Waves Today. Uh, we'll, we'll see. It might, I might call it the, you know, the surfer waiting or something. We'll, we'll see what I call it. But that, that's pretty much it for this little video, this little trip to the beach on a cold and windy day. Um, hope you enjoyed watching the video and the sketches and the scenery as well. As always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And let me know if you've got any questions in the comments as well. You know, always happy to answer those. But in the meantime, I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thanks very much for watching.